Okay, so we're facing blue, the legendary blue. And it's a pretty cool team, actually. Ooh, wait, this is a really cool team. So, Rotom Wash, Porygon 2, Rillaboom, Landorus, Heatran, and Grimmsnarl. This team really doesn't like the Nihiligo lead at all, to be honest. Uh, I think I want to go Nihiligo Clefairy on lead here. In the back, I feel like Kartana is a solid option. And overall, I could probably afford to bring Focus Ash Urshifu. So we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Yeah, we're, we're using Nut today. We're using Nut today, the big Nut. You guys can hear the game all right, yeah? Or do I need to turn it up? Does the game need to be turned up? Maybe not. Probably not. I'm assuming not. Nut is busted. <laughs> Ally switch. Oh, I really don't want to face that today. Grim Snarl Porygon 2. How much you want to bet? It's about to happen. Do you guys think a helping hand Meteor Beam will knock out Porygon 2? I don't think so, but I want to try. I want to get as much damage off on that thing as I can. What are my other options? No, nothing really that strikes me as a good idea, so we'll just helping hand it. We'll just go for it. They withdraw the Grim Snarl. I am cool with that. They send in the Heatran. If I get this off, if this somehow KOs, if I crit, can I crit right now? That'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. I'm pretty certain a crit meteor beam at plus one with helping hand would KO Porygon too. I don't know how much this will do. Yeah! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <gasps> oh, it hurts. It hurts. It, it really does hurt, to be honest. That hurt me on a spiritual level. Okay, uh, so... Obviously, I don't want to um, lose my Nihiligo here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to Trick Room up and follow me again and hope that they don't double on their Trick Room because I really don't want this Trick Room up. If I can get rid of this Trick Room, I'm not in a bad spot. 75% is not bad either. 75% is not bad. Max Quake coming your way. Yeah, probably. I'm assuming they recover. Yeah. Hmm. Do you think Helping Hand Max Rockfall KOs? Probably not plus one. <laughs> hey, yo, we live that, though. That's the thing. We live that. Porygon 2 is too chunky. Facts. Absolute factoid right there. Alright, I'm gonna make a read. I'm gonna say they're going to, uh... I'm gonna say they're gonna Trick Room again, but this time they're gonna Steel Spike. Obviously at plus one special defense, I'm not KOing that Porygon 2. Ooh, do I earn much by trick rooming again and following me? I'm really just trying to stall out their their Dynamax. Check this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna trick room again on their trick room. This is this is the play. I'm not throwing for content. I swear this is the play. On Gandhi, this is the play. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Here's my trick room. Tell me you trick roomed again. Tell me you trick roomed again. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Am I into Sword and Shield GS Cup? I haven't tried it out yet, actually. I want to, though. 
I didn't throw for content. Not today, not ever, maybe next week, to be honest. Okay. Um, I think my play here is to max Rockfall. I can take a max Quake from this guy, right? Can I take a max Quake from, from Heatran if I Dynamax? And I have the sand up. I'm going to say I do. So I'm going to Wicked Blow and go for the Max Quake into the Porygon too. <laughs> this is this is my play. This is my play. If this works out, I'm, I'm solid. Because this double into the thing will KO. Yeah, but the thing is, Nihiligo will have a special defense boost from the sand, and it's also already absurdly bulky on the special side. Alright, that's probably within Wicked Blow range. I didn't want a close combat. Wicked Blow is absurdly strong. You got this. Oh, yeah. And if I survive this, I think I just win. Hey, Max Quake, you got this, right? You got this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, it was insane. Okay. Those Trick Room plays were what, were what won me the game. I will say, those Trick Room plays are what won me the game. Now, my greatest fear... My greatest fear in this moment is them having lagging tail. I can pick up, I can pick up a KO here with Max Ooze. I don't want to lose my Urshifu. So I'll switch out into Kartana, assuming they don't Heat Wave. I'm assuming plus one Max Ooze is enough. Oh, they got Scary Face. Okay, whatever. They flash cannon me. <laughs> I'm cool with it. Arbok, how you doing? How'd finals go? Finals went great. Finals went great. Passed on my classes. Did well in my classes. Feeling good. And we get that KO. And now, Kartana with the special attack boost. Because it matters. Our, our special attack went from 2 to 3. That's math. That's math. Our, our Kartana special attack went from 2 to 3. But Nihiligos went from like 200 to 300. Probably more to be honest. There's the Rotom. Uh, they could double into my boy and really mess me up. Uh, I think it's in my best interest just to double into the into the Rotom here. Or actually, I think I, I think I always just double into Heatran to be honest. Yeah, that's my play. I go for the Max Rockfall on the Heatran, and I also Sacred Sword. Because I'm not going to get knocked out by Rotom by any means. And we just one shot, that's gotta be a crit. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. Alright, cool. So, um... This is a dead Rotom. Oh my god. Guys, can we... Let us let us say um, a word in memory of Rotom. Um, he is very flat now. That was a couple of words, but he is very flat now. That is, that is his final words. We buried him. <laughs> Insane. All right, cool. So uh, that was he, we flattened the Rotom, man. <laughs> Flat Tom. Oh, so what's your opinion on Citrus versus Pinchberry? Which do you prefer? If it were twenty eighteen, I would say Pinchberry all the way. Now I'm kind of fifty fifty. I think Incineroar is better with a pinch, but a lot of Pokemon do a lot better with Citrus in the format. Edu CBT. <laughs> All right, so for context here, uh, if you're wondering why I'm so low on the ladder, one, it's because I was already bad, uh, and two, I haven't played in about a week, so my decay was extremely bad. All right, um, it looks like they're running Celestila 
Zapdos, Landorus, Raichu, Clefairy, and Cinderace. I haven't seen a lot of Clefairy Cinderace, and I feel like that's one of the better combos that series um series five had. I mean, I, I guess Cinderace isn't too good right now with the extreme amount of Intimidators and the fact that its speed tier isn't as oppressive, but overall, I still I still think it's a threat. Um, I think here, I feel relative, this is actually a really tough lead for me. I want to go Thunderous, but I have to be really scared of the uh, Raichu, and I spent too much time talking to my friend Edu. Honestly, we'll go Clefairy, Thunderous. It feels like a very really safe middle ground play. Um... Very little reason not to bring the Rotom. Rotom seems insane in this matchup. Or actually, hold up. I'm not going to lead off Thunderous. I'm going to lead off Rotom. I'll bring Thunderous in the back. And I think my last Mon... My last Mon... I could just go with Shifu. That's like never a bad decision. We'll go with that. And Jude with the subscription. Thank you so much. Hey, have a nice night, Edu. Yeah, I mean, Cinderace would be a lot better if there weren't as many Intimidators in this format. Raichu Celesteela, I made a great lead. <laughs> Watch this be Smackdown Celesteela, and I've already lost. I'm just going to protect here, assuming they fake out. Or is there any way I can be even more oppressive? Not really. I'll just protect. Because they should fake out. And uh, I'll nasty plot up. And thanks for the follow there, Tempest. Smackdown Earthquake Celestial. Please no, not today. I don't want to face that today. Oh, they're Dynamaxing. Bro, they got Smackdown. They're about to lay the Smackdown on me, aren't they? Not today, please. Not today. Not like this. If they have Smackdown, I'm gonna cry. I'm absolutely enthralled in this match. They could have Eerie Impulse. That could be another real possibility. And hey! <laughs> we got him! <laughs> okay. Um, so as long as I don't die... I win, right? And that's a very simple concept. If you don't die, you win. But also... Oh! Come on! <laughs> Why? That was the one set. That was... Oh, wait. No, we're still good. <laughs> Bro. How did I know? How did I... That's the thing. When you play this game long enough, you see the craziest stuff. And that is one of the things you will see that will make you think, Wow, I almost don't want to play Pokemon anymore. <laughs> Alright, um... There, and remember how I said with my luck they will have every tool they need to beat me I'm going to hope that they assume I'm following me here and I'm just going to helping hand this max flare and hope that the game will just be done at that point honestly I, I, can't, I can't play this anymore I can't do this anymore <laughs> I can't do this anymore I know it's not that crazy but I was the only move it gets is smackdown so it's crazy in my head that people are running smackdown in the format you know does it get another move? I'm pretty certain. Oh, wait, does it get Meteor Beam? Hold up, it might get Meteor Beam. Let me check. Pocket Man Showdown. Guys, Celesteela gets Meteor Beam. Why aren't we using this? Why aren't we using this set? <laughs> it gets Meteor Beam. All right, they can Volt Switch out. I don't care. Really? Dude, I've hardly faced Meteor Beam Celesteela. Like, maybe it's like an adjustment that was made in the past week or something when I was inactive, but I haven't seen Meteor Beam Celesteela once. It also gets Rock Slide. Okay. Okay. Bro, I, I have not seen it. <laughs> Alright, um, they should max Steel Spike every single time here. I'm assuming they're just gonna max Steel Spike. 
So, assuming that, I, sh I could protect. I could protect, right? They probably don't take plus two max flare, but they could. I'm gonna protect <laughs> and hope that they just go for the steel spike on their own. I'll flare into the Celesteel. It's clearly about to get redirected, but you know. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't know what the thought process was there. Did it just live? Guys, it just lived. Oh god. Oh god, you better have steel spiked, man. You better. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Okay, so their Dynamax is over. Um, I should always redirect here. They protected last turn. I'll just flare into the Clefairy. I outspeed Celesteela with other Pokemon, so I don't really need to worry about it right now. That's the thing. That, that's just crazy. <laughs> that's just crazy, man. I mean, I suppose it would make sense for a lot of Celesteel to run rock coverage in the current format, given how common Rotom Heat has been. Yep, there it is. Celesteel is going to blast. I'm just happy he didn't airstream. If he airstreamed, I would have been in a lot more trouble. That doesn't take it. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I don't mind losing the Clefairy here. It gives me a lot more offensive pressure by sending in something more threatening, you know? So I think Urshifu always comes in. And the reason Urshifu always comes in here is because there is a... there is a Raichu about to come in and try to knock me out. Or not knock me out, but flinch me since my Dynamax is over. Uh, and they can't protect the Celesteela, so what I can do is just go for the Wicked Blow into the uh, Celesteela as well as uh, an Overheat and... Either one of those will do the trick, pretty much, depending on who they fake out. Wicked Blow. Overheat. I'll just double into Celesteela. It doesn't matter. Because if they fake out the Urshifu, then they obviously didn't protect the Celesteela. Alright, cool. And Urshifu will move before, so I'm still getting this off, right? They nuzzle. Oh, wait. No, that actually makes a difference now, because... Now Rotom is going first. Okay, that's fine. I still have Sucker Punch. Knock out the Celesteela. That's great. The crit definitely mattered. Crit definitely mattered right there. Yeah. Fake out Magmar Hidden Tech. Does it get Fake Out? That'd be funny. Landorus. Um, my priority is always that Raichu now, I think. I think it's always the Raichu. They're just going to spam Rock Slide. Because I can beat Landorus with my Thunderous, I think. Or actually, no, the Rock Slide's still pretty scary. I'll just go ahead and Sucker Punch the Raichu. And go for a Protect. I'll Protect here because they're just going to Rock Slide, right? This gives me more opportunities to knock out Raichu. Sucker Punch goes off, and they're going to live that. Volt Tackle. Doesn't do too much. They're taking Recoil, too. They go for the Rock Slide. I should take that. Now, I'm about to make a big gamble, guys. I'm about to make a very big gamble. I'm going to Wicked Blow the Landorus now. I don't think they attack me with the uh, with the Raichu here. Considering I revealed Sucker Punch, they would lose it. And then my Pokemon's a bigger threat to them. They might protect. What if they're Assault Vest Raichu, though? Then they only have attacks. No, they're all Sash. Does anything on their team want a Sash? Not really. Besides the Raichu, I'm willing to make this risk.
No, they attack. All right, well. That's fine. My Wicked Blow should still go into the Landers as long as I don't get paraflinched. Come on. <laughs> Come on, baby. All right. That's probably within Sucker Punch range. And I mean, they're not Choice Scarf on their Landorus either, so... It should be fine if I just go for, like, a Fly. Yeah, I can just Fly into Landorus since it's likely Assault Vest, and I'll Sucker Punch the Raichu. And if my Sucker Punch goes off, I win, so... I mean, I could, I could still miss the Fly, but that's... You know, it's this, that's besides the point. Let's not even let's not even consider it. Okay, well that's that's a little bit annoying. Thank God this guy outspeeds Raichu by literally one. Can you knock yourself out of my Urshifu? Awesome, cool, we win. <laughs> we win. Unless they're not assault vest, in which case this will actually be an issue. Because then we, we have to, like, you know, click fly while they protect, click fly while they protect, and then eventually I just have to give in and click superpower. Okay, yeah, we won. Awesome. So that was an awkward endgame, but <laughs> it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. This team is so good. I really like this team.